Today we're going to be solving the question that we have on the screen. We have that 6 raised to the power x is equal to 6x plus 24. And we're supposed to find the value of x. Um, in solving this question, we're going to employ the lambda w formula. That's what's going to help us solve this question. Let's get right into it. Now, we have... Solution. We have that 6 raised to the power x is equal to 6x plus 24. Okay. Now let's divide the left hand side, divide through by 6 raised to the power x. And we have that 1 is equal to 6x plus 24 divided by 6 raised to the power x. Now we can rewrite the 6 raised to the power x, take it to the top, and then the power gains a negative sign, and that becomes 6 raised to the power minus x. Okay, now we are going to try to get the um, x on the first um, parenthesis to stand on its own. So we're going to get rid of that 6. So to get rid of the 6, we can factor out 6 from that uh, parenthesis. And if we do, we get 6 into bracket x plus 4, 6 raised to the power minus x. If we divide through by 6, we have 1 over 6 on the left-hand side equals x plus 4, 6 raised to the power minus x. Um, our lambda w function states that a e raised to the power a is equal to a. So we're going to rewrite the left side and the right hand side of this equation to look like the Lambert formula. That way we can be able to find the value of x. So let's first of all start by rewriting the right hand side. Okay, now we can um, find out that we have minus x. Um, at the power, and then we have a positive x at the base on the right-hand side. So let's try to make that base a negative x. And we can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by minus 1. Okay, so if we multiply by minus 1, then we get minus 1 over 6 equals minus x plus 4, 6 raised to the power minus x. And then if we expand the right-hand side, we get minus 1 over 6 equals minus x minus 4, 6 raised to the power minus x. Now we're heading somewhere, okay? So uh, we have minus x minus 4, and then we have just minus x at the power. So we need to introduce minus 4 at the power just to make sure that the base and the power look the same. So we can do that by multiplying both sides by 6 raised to the power minus 4, such that we can um, apply the formula a raised to the power um, m times a raised to the power n equals a raised to the power m plus n. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to multiply both sides by 6 raised to the power minus 4 times minus 1 over 6. That's equal to minus x minus 4, 6 raised to the power minus x dot 6 raised to the power minus 4. Now this becomes 6 raised to the power minus 4. We can rewrite um, 1 over 6 to become 6 raised to the power minus 1. That's possible. And this is equal to minus x, minus 4, 6, because we have the same base. So we can add, we can add the powers. So if we add the powers, it becomes minus x, minus 4. Okay. Now, base and power look the same. Okay. So now, let us um, introduce the e. Because from the equation, we have um, a e raised to the power a. So we have the a's sorted. Now let's introduce our e. 
Now we know that e raised to the power of ln of x is equal to x. So if we say, for instance, um, if we say x is maybe 2, so we say e raised to the power of ln of 2 is equal to 2. So let us apply the same thing to the 6. So this becomes 6 raised to the power minus 4 plus minus 1 will give us minus 5 equals minus x minus 4. E raised to the power of the lin of six minus x minus four. This can come to the back here, and then it becomes minus six raised to the power minus five equals minus x minus four e raised to the power minus x minus four lin of six. Okay. Now we notice that we've introduced another variable. We've introduced lin six. There's something different, and we don't have that at the base. So we're going to introduce that at the base by multiplying both sides of the equation by lin six, because whatever you do on the right-hand side, you have to do on the left-hand side as well. So if we multiply both sides by lin six, then we have lin six times minus six raised to the power minus five equals minus x minus four lin six e raised to the power minus x minus four lin of six. Now the base and the power both look the same. So if we employ the Lambert W formula to both sides, applying the rule to both sides. Now we have the W is lin 6 times minus 6 raised to the power minus 5 equals, according to the formula, the right hand side now becomes minus x minus 4 lin of 6. Okay? Now, Let's go over to the left-hand side and try to rewrite the left-hand side, manipulate the numbers um, such that it can satisfy the um, Lambert W function, okay? So now we have lin six times um, minus one times, let's rewrite six raised to the power five in such a way that it can fit into the formula. Six raised to the power minus five is the same thing as 6 raised to the power 1 times 6 raised to the power minus 6 because 1 minus 6 is minus 5. And we have the same base, which is 6. So that becomes 6 raised to the power minus 5. And then we have our minus 1 on the side as well, multiplying all through. So now we have that minus x minus 4 lin of 6. Okay, so with this um, done, we can rewrite this and we have 6. For this 6 raised to power 1 becomes 6 lin of 6. And then we have minus 1. And then we have 6 raised to power minus 6 minus x minus 4 lin of 6. So now let's introduce our e. Okay, so we now have e raised to the power lin of x is equal to x. So let's rewrite 6 raised to the power minus 6 in that e raised to the power lin of x format. So then we have minus 6 lin of 6 because minus 1 times 6 lin of 6 is minus 6 lin of 6 times e raised to the power lin 6 raised to the power minus 6 equals minus x minus 4 lin of 6. So minus 6 comes to the back here, and we have w minus 6 lin of 6 e raised to power minus 6 
lin of 6 equals minus x minus 4 lin of 6. Now, minus 6 lin 6 minus 6 lin 6 at the base and at the power on the left-hand side. So we can apply the um, lambda w function, and it becomes minus 6 lin of 6. And that's equal to minus x minus 4 lin of 6. So we have lin of 6 on both sides. We cancel out um, the lin of 6s. And what we have left is minus 6 equals minus x minus 4. So if we move the x to the left-hand side and then we move minus 6 to the right-hand side, we have x is equal to 6 minus 4. Now x is equal to 2. This is the value of our x. Now let's um, verify to see if our value of x is correct. So we have 6x, 6x plus 24. Okay, try to remember it. So to verify, we have 6 raised to the power x plus 6x is equal to 24. Now, um, let me see if that was correct. 6x plus 24. Okay. Thought as much. I thought as much. Okay. So, 6x plus 24. Good. So, our x is 2, right? So, let's plug in 2. So, we have 6 raised to the power 2 equals 6, 2 plus 24. 6 squared will give us 36. Um, 6 times 2, that's 12, plus 24. This gives us 36. If we add up, 4 plus 2 is 6, and then 2 plus 1 is 3, so that gives us 36. And this, we see that, from here we see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So, our value of x, which is 2, is correct for this equation. So if you've learned something new today, make sure that you like this video. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Um, make sure that you share this video so somebody else can learn something new as well. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.